I'm going to show you how to disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth using shortcuts on iOS. Now, some of you will be asking, why do I need to use some special method, shortcuts, when I have the control center? Well, the control center is great. I use it all the time, but it has a problem. If you turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth by pressing those toggles there, then it should connect to any networks, as you can see over in the top left, or any accessories, which is great. But if you go back to control center and try to turn them off in the same way you turn them on, it does say disconnecting, and if you have a look in the top bar there, you can see I'm no longer connected to Wi-Fi, but if you dig into the settings and have a look at Wi-Fi, the radio is actually still on. It's just not connected to any network, so I have to manually turn that off. It's the same deal over here with Bluetooth. The radio is still on consuming battery. I have to manually turn that off. So this is a bit of a hassle if what you wanna do is conserve power. Instead of doing it through the control center, what I'm going to do is use this new app on my home screen that you can see called Shortcuts. If I open that up, it gives you the opportunity to create different little scripts or shortcuts that have functions. So if I create one here, and if I search for Wi-Fi, you can see the second option down, Set Wi-Fi, is right there. And the green toggle is set to on right now. So if I press this shortcut at the moment, it would turn Wi-Fi on. I actually want it to turn Wi-Fi off. So I'm going to toggle that. I'm also going to customize this shortcut just a little bit with this icon over here on the top right hand side, just below done. If I press on that, I can give this a more helpful name than untitled shortcut. I might call this Wi-Fi off. And I will also give it a more helpful icon, something like red for off. Let's select a glyph that looks a little more like an actual Wi-Fi symbol. Uh, that one will do. Say done. So if I create this now and say done. This shortcut, if I activate it, will disable the Wi-Fi and do it properly. It will actually turn off the radio, which is great. Now, to put this in a place that's easy to access, what I'm going to do is swipe left to go to my widget screen. And if I say edit, I can add a widget. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that shortcuts is there, fifth from the bottom. So I'm going to press the green plus icon, add it on, and press done. And so now you can see I have a new shortcut that's appeared, which says Wi-Fi off. So let's give it a quick test. If I turn on Wi-Fi using the control center like normal, I twiddle my thumbs for a second, and then hopefully my Wi-Fi actually connects. There it is in the top left-hand corner. So I'm not going to use the control center. Instead, I'm going to swipe over left, hit Wi-Fi off, the shortcut runs, and sure enough, in the top left, you can see Wi-Fi is disconnected. More importantly, if I go to settings, you can see Wi-Fi is actually properly off. And so this is a really handy shortcut for me. I use it every day, all the time to conserve battery. And I can do the same thing for Bluetooth as well. I can say, all right, let's create a new one for Bluetooth. Search for Bluetooth, there it is. I don't want it to turn on, I want it to turn off. And I also want it to have a more helpful name that's a bit descriptive. So I'm gonna call this one BT for Bluetooth off and I'll make it red as well because it's off and I will pick an icon that looks a bit Bluetoothy. That one will do for me. While I'm at it, because the control center might be something uh, that you find harder to reach, I know on the newer iPhones, which are a bit larger, if your hands are small, it's hard to reach up to the top. Um, you can't reach from the bottom because there's no um, there's no home button, so they've replaced the cold control center from the bottom with a control center at the top. So if you want Wi-Fi off and Bluetooth off to be accompanied by um, the opposite options, say Wi-Fi on, I can say this Wi-Fi shortcut is now to keep things on. That's why the green toggle is there. I'm going to call this one, actually I should before I leave it, I should talk, give it a more helpful name. Let's call this one Wi-Fi on. And I'll make this one green instead because green is more of an on sort of color. If I go over, there's the same icon that I chose before. And just for completeness sake, let's make a Bluetooth on. Set Bluetooth make it a little more helpfully labeled Bluetooth on and I'm going to make it green with that same kind of icon I chose earlier. There it is. Done. All right, now that I've created this sort of nice little set here, if I go over to my widgets options, all of them appear so I can toggle the blue, the Wi-Fi on and it will connect. I can toggle it off. I can toggle the Bluetooth on from here as well. If I had some headphones or something like that, they might connect. And uh, you can see that by the way, there it is on, on the control center. And if I say Bluetooth off, then if I look back on the control center, it is truly off. So hope you guys have found that helpful and it's useful to you. You can even get to them from the lock screen if you like. And I find this something really handy. See you guys.